Okay, today I'm going to show you how to install fonts on a Windows 7 machine. So right here I have a Rosewood font on my desktop and I want to install that. So there's a couple ways you can do it. One way is to install it into Windows fonts. Um, I prefer not to do that and uh, I, there's various reasons I, I won't, that I won't get into. So what we're going to do, the second way, is um, we're going to create a folder in the root of C. And we're going to call that folder. So here, let's go into the C drive. And we're going to make a folder called fonts. And <clears throat> I went inside this folder here. And now I'm going to copy the file that I want. Going to copy that into the uh, into my fonts folder. This is going to be a permanent folder. It's my additional folder that um, holds fonts that are not system fonts. So anything that's on this uh, that's in this folder can be removed without affecting the programs. If uh, the reason I say that is if you decide that you want to remove some fonts later on and you have a ton of fonts in there, you don't know which font was installed by Windows. You don't know which font was installed by Microsoft Excel or, or uh, Adobe or anything else. If you let the programs ins install the fonts, they're going to install them into the system folder or into the, the Windows fonts folder. But your fonts will go right here in C fonts. So that will make cleanup a lot easier down the road. Uh, now, so we've copied it there. Now the question is, how do we add it? First of all, this machine has InDesign. It's got uh, InDesign CS6. So uh, it there is an exception here. InDesign requires a font to be in, uh, copied into its program uh, itself as well. So what we're going to do, we're going to make this where uh, Windows will, will install directly a, as a shortcut. So I'm going to go start, type in fonts, and... I'm going to change font settings. Okay. Now, right here, if you'll notice, installation settings to save space on your computer, you can choose to install a shortcut to a font file instead of the file itself. If the font be file becomes unavailable, you might not be able to use the font. So, we're going to check this to allow fonts to be installed using a shortcut. And then we're going to click OK. Very important to do that. Once you've done that, then you can go right into your C fonts folder. And right click on this font and tell it to install a shortcut. There's install and install a shortcut. Install a shortcut keeps it in the C fonts folder. Again, later on, you can take it out with no problems. So we're going to do the shortcut. There it is. And it is now a font available to use to just about all of your programs. Now, to get this to work in uh, CS6 in design, what we're going to do, we're going to go to our program files. There's two because this is a 64-bit machine. InDesign is not 64-bit. So we're going to go to the x86, which is the 32-bit side. So it's C program files, x86. Go into Adobe and Adobe InDesign CS6. And yes, we're going to go into fonts. Now, with... Uh, 
I'm going to open up a second window and go to the, well, it's right here. So I'm going to copy that font that I just installed into this InDesign fonts folder. Now, when you start up InDesign or any program, it's going to be available to use. 